Okay, well today, 5th of June is World Environment Day. Um, today, when we want to use the opportunity to raise awareness about the deforestation that's happening, particularly in the drylands of Africa, but actually right across the planet, um, and how that's impacting on our climate and our changing weather patterns. And what we're asking people to do today is come along to our art install installation that is spelling out time. And why we've chosen the word time is because time is running out for us to take action on deforestation and climate change. I am an artist, I'm a designer, we, most of us, most of the people that are doing art and design all care about the world. Um, basically, so I came up with the idea of writing the word time. We write the word time because time's running out, we write it in big letters, everyone comes and gets involved and as you can see everyone's drawing on the pictures and get involved and help making time. I think climate change is perhaps the biggest challenge that is facing humanity this century and that's not over it. Uh, this is what the Global Risk Report says we all need to grasp this and sometimes these huge challenges can just feel too vast to grasp but it's all about making a global impact but acting locally. We're Lottie and Daisy from Badminton and we're here with our junior school. We think that if they can build habits from such a young age, then they're more likely to just do it subconsciously when they're older. So like recycling things, if they learn it now, then it'll be better in the future. We're an all-girls school and we think that what they do, especially with women in Africa, is like teaching them and empowering them with what they can do with trees and like how they can utilise them in many ways rather than just the wood. So I think that the way that we can support them and also empower women outside of our school and our community in Bristol. It's such a brilliant charity. Please go online, please look at their website. They have loads of different campaigns. There's a brilliant one at the moment called She Grows, supporting women in the dry lands of Africa to use products of trees, generate an income for themselves. So it's about environmentalism, it's about gender equality, it's about tackling poverty. That's running until the end of June and we'd be really grateful if you could consider making a donation to that appeal.